Let's talk about love, baby. We want to talk about love? So we've been talking about love. And it's something we really need to understand about love, right? So Osho says that you can't just fly with the wing of your love. That's only one wing. Unconditional love cannot have one wing. It needs two wings. And that real love has a wing of love and a wing of freedom. Because love can only exist with its freedom. Because if a love is controlling or limiting or judging, then it's not really unconditional infinite love. So we need to understand that to love someone also means to give them freedom to experience what they need to experience, to make a choice that they need to make. Um, and in that loving and support of them, that's when we discover genuine love. Now, in that freedom, don't get me wrong, what I'm seeing is I'm not just speaking or only speaking or not even a little bit speaking to romantic love, but I am, because love is big love, and that includes romantic love. But understand that freedom and forgiveness are essential to our ability to love. You know, there's so many times I heard someone say, yeah, I love everyone, but X, Y, and Z. I love everyone, but he or she said this or that. There's no condition to love. And here's this. There's also no condition to who we love. Because in the practice of yoga, we believe in union. We believe in interconnectedness of all things. How can I love my left hand, but not love my right hand? But at the same time, my right hand may have done stuff that I don't really like. But because my love includes forgiveness and freedom, I can still support and love my right hand. I may not love what my right hand has done, but I can still love my right hand. And hopefully through that continuous love and support, the things that my right hand might be doing that are not wholesome or in alignment with our greater good will begin to change through that love. But we're taking our love and we're cutting it up and we're limiting it to certain conditions or people or actions or words or thoughts and we're becoming attached. That's not love. Love is not conditional and has no attachment. Real love it's one that has forgiveness and freedom at its very foundation. So if there's anyone in your life that maybe you're holding some kind of resentment towards or you're having trouble forgiving or letting go or you find that you're bringing some kind of judgment into their actions or words or thoughts, I invite you to look at that. Maybe pick up your phone and say, man, you hate me, but I just want you to know I love you. And I understand. And I understand you're doing the best you can with what you have. Or maybe if there's someone we feel like we're a little resistant towards because there's some kind of judgment that's creeping up in the background. We all have it, right? But we have to see it so we can call ourselves out on it and say, man, that's just past experiences creeping up. Um, and we could ignore a story Again, like I mentioned, Sean Cohn's teaching, yeah? Ignore his story and see his soul. Actually see that individual and not the embodiment and the physical form and the actions and words that come with that individual. See his soul, yeah? And with that, as we start to embody forgiveness and freedom, once again, we can remember how to really love. 